Mrs. Jasmine Thompson. Mrs. Jasmine Thompson.
this is a nursing specific writing task. So we are waiting for some students, good. So nursing writing. Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grand Master Class. And I am Peter Simon with you. Today, we are going to learn the different writing patterns for the case notes of Mrs. Jasmine Thompson. This is a nursing specific writing task for the occupational English test. Right total shoulder replacement. Right total shoulder replacement and practice with Peter, the English language doctor. We are going to do a number of sessions now. So Sunday is my day. It is not a part of the regular program. So on Sundays, I'll teach whatever I want and however I want. So because this Sunday and Saturdays, I will try to enhance my teaching capabilities. I have been trained from Cambridge University, but still I feel there is a lot to learn. I don't want to be complacent, saturated, and a bit of feeling like I don't want to know anything much. So life is a stage where we learn a number of things.
So every day we grow wise only with wisdom. So add, add. There are two things which will never diminish or deteriorate or disappear or disintegrate. Some three days back, a student told me, vanished. I was surprised. How come somebody uses the word vanished so naturally? Because I, in all the 33 years of teaching, I never used the word vanished from my intuition. I read and I understood. I heard and I applied. But it was never a part of my active vocabulary. When something like the word disappeared is there, I use the word vanished. But when I was speaking, I never used the word vanished. So like that, there are a number of things we don't use, though we know them pretty well. So, today, I use the word vanished on my own, without any external influence. So, every day, the more I take the sessions, the more I implement the wisdom I gain. So I want all the students to participate on your own and do something. There are four skills. Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. I repeat, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. But the right pattern is listening, speaking, reading, and writing. It is L-S-R-W. Listening, L. Speaking, S. Reading, R. Writing, W. L-S-R-W. Skills. Okay. These are the five skills, sorry, four skills. Now, these skills can be studied comparatively. There are some skills, two skills, which are called receptive skills. Now, what are these receptive skills? Receptive means comes from without means comes from outside, either through the books when you read or through the audio when you listen. So these are called receptive skills. These grow as you read and listen. The more you read and the more you listen, you gain comprehension in reading and listening skills. The fact of the matter is many people don't realize that these are integrated skills. That's what you have to identify. They are interconnected. It is a pattern, a web. They are mutually interrelated. They cannot be acquired isolated conditions, under isolated conditions. You cannot read only reading like reading because, okay, when you read something, there are many things which you are learning. So what are you supposed to do here is, You have to 
Take, take the words and you have to use those words in speaking. And when you learn these words, you can use these words in writing and speaking. And you can understand these words when you are doing listening. So don't study the skills under isolate conditions. That is what I tell you. So when you learn collectively, that would be better for you. Okay, so coming to the point, Jasmine Thompson, right total shoulder replacement. Yes, here it is. Fine. File, save us. Lecture. Online session. Yeah. So now let us see this. Okay, so Fine. So there ends out. Now let us see very clearly here. Go through these case notes. One student, two students, or three students. I don't mind. Because I told you already, even if nobody is there, I'm going to teach. Right. So go through these case notes. Yeah.
Yes, so now we are going to start the lecture. Now let us see here. Using the information given in the case notes, write a letter of referral. So this is a referral letter. To Miss Roberts, this is incomplete information because Miss Nita Roberts is the full name. This is better. So use this information and don't use this information. A home nurse. And uh, in-home nursing service. Seventy-nine Beside Street. and Bayview. So this is the address. This is the address. So we'll take that one. It's Miss Nita Roberts, home nurse in home nursing service, 79 Beach Street, Bayview. This is number one. This is number one, fine. So, so Miss Nita Roberts, Home nurse, in home nursing service, 79 Beachside Street, Bayview, five lines. That's done. Now let us go for the date. So this is a referral letter. Okay, discharge plan is also there, but this is not a discharge letter, remember. Okay, All right. Next, the date is, This is the discharge. Yeah. Yes, get ready there. Okay, now 
registered nurse okay you are a registered nurse preparing mrs jasmine thompson's discharge Ms. Jasmine Thompson has had a right total shoulder replacement. She is to be discharged home today. So today is the discharge. Discharge home today. Discharge home today with assistance from in-home nursing service. Okay. So that's it. You can see that. And now, So check it out anywhere any address is there other than that okay let us check it out clearly so mrs jansen to answer 73 white road baby that's fine so here nothing else is given other than registered nurse okay and the right shoulder replacement is done so it is post operative ward post operative ward after operation after recovery she is discharged so post operative ward okay now still what there are some words here lives in baby children they live in still water daughter will stay with mother post surgery so she lives in bayview address is bayview okay address is bayview anything else is there you have to just check it out clear okay so bayview is the place where she lives but is this hospital where you are working is it in bayview you have to confirm if it is not confirmed you did not write okay so still water is one name of place where children live one son lives in still water okay this is decreased movement this is decreased uh -huh. then next so nothing is given here nothing nothing and nothing right so post operative ward that is clear and anything else okay a refer following appointment in orthopedic joint replacement outpatient department that's there the name of the hospital is not there so if this is outpatient department that is inpatient department and that is uh, post operative ward we can say that orthopedic joint replacement nurse specialist contactable by calling hospital so it is a hospital we know that okay then nothing else is given and now you are sending her to bayview only okay in home nursing service which is in bayview so the letter address also is bayview you are in bayview that's very clear now this hospital is also in bayview okay that's very clear so registered nurse Thing wrong. Okay, so let us take here. So registered nurse. Then we can say post operative one word ward. Okay. Then you can just say hospital 
and Bayview. Okay, so these are the things which we notice from here. So, so you he lives the patient lives in Bayview, right? And the nursing home is also in Bayview. So this hospital is also in Bayview, right? So we got only these four pieces of information. Name is not given, so leave it. Okay. Right. Now, the next one, see, date of birth is given, age is given, and this is the name of the patient. So this is the name of the patient. And this is the age and date of birth. So use date, date of birth. Use date of birth. Because date of birth is given. Give priority to date of birth. And so this date. Plan for discharge home with daughter today. So discharge today. You can see here. Discharge today, and the today's date is this one. So don't write as it is, how it is given, because this is case notes. Case notes, they can give any sort of notes. So here, 15 July 2017. 15 July 2017. So this is the second thing. So always write the name of the month in words. Name of the month in words. So Yes, this is number two, date. Next, after that number three, again, you have to go here. So number three will be like this. Okay. So here, dear Miss Roberts, comma, even if you don't put comma, it's okay. But many students are confused. If you want to put comma here, then why not here? Everywhere comma should come. And here last full stop should come. So that's not uh, compulsory, but still to be away from doubts. Okay. You are sincerely and dear Miss Roberts. They are both the places at least you put so that you'll be confident. Don't have any doubts. So you will get this one from here, from the first line. Dear, okay, uh, this Miss is the title, and second name Roberts. So dear Miss Roberts, dear Miss Roberts. Every time you see, fine. These are the things which you can use. Now fourth one. Fourth one is here. You will get it here. Fourth one. This is called the. Yeah. This is the subject of the sentence. The subject of the sentence. This is the subject of the sentence. Okay. Regarding column immediately. Mrs. Jasmine Thompson, comma, B O B capitals, abbreviation, date of birth, okay, that is 1 July 1942, 1 July 1942.
1 July 1942. So this is how you can write. This is a right answer. No doubt regarding this. And apart from this, you can also write, you can also write what? Like this, regarding Mrs. Jasmine Thompson. Be careful regarding spelling. It's Thompson with a P, not without a P. Aged 75. Don't write many different styles. Okay. Don't use many different styles. Use these two styles. That is always better for you. So you can write using date of birth or you can write using the age. But the first priority is date of birth because for official purposes, date of birth has more prominence than age. Age, if age is given, you cannot calculate date of birth. But if date of birth is given, you can definitely calculate age. That's it. All right. Amani Mustafa, Nofa. Okay, I'm not teaching for doctors or nurses, I'm teaching general things. So you can definitely attend. Asma, Asma Sakran. Okay, right. So both forms are right, but the first one, date of birth is the most accepted format. So fourth one, so the starters are over. One, two, three, and four are the starters. And six and seven are the deserts. So the main meal is the body. So we have three different components. What are they? So we have three different components. Actually, we can separate into three parts. What are those three parts? The three parts are like this. Number one. The starters, the starters, number two, the main course, I mean the main dinner, the main course. So when you go to a hotel, five-star hotel, they will be asking, what are the starters that I can offer or you prefer, sir? So that is starters. Then the main course means the main food items. Then last one is the desserts. After eating everything, you go for an ice cream. Okay. So this is naturally the body. The main, the body of the letter. And the starters are the initials. And the last one, the desserts are the finals. These are the initial requirements or the initial components. And these are the final components. Yeah, these are the starters, these are the deserts. Close it. So now we have finished the starters. We have done with the starters. Now, what are the starters? Let us see the address, the seven components of an OET letter. Uh -huh. These are the seven components of an OET letter. These are the seven components of an OET letter. Okay. So now I'm just saving the space. Okay. So the reference or the subject. So these are the four things. Okay. 
I'll give the color orange. I don't oh, four, 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 four. Is this why it went there? Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 it is with the book. Right, these are the four things. These are the starters. We finished. And now we are going to see the deserts. These are the deserts. I'll give it pink, pinkish. So the main body is the green one. I don't think whether it will accept me. I will not leave. This is green. No, let's take blue. Yeah, the body. So the body blue, this is the main force. The central part, number five is the main force. One to four are the starters and the last pink are the deserts. So you should know these things now. So we have finished the first the four, then the last two we'll see now. The closing remarks. The closing remarks depends on this one. The closing remarks depends on the salutation. How come? Yes. So if you know the name of the person, dear Miss Roberts, you know the name is Miss Roberts. Roberts is the name. So then you will write yours sincerely. You will write yours sincerely because you know the name. The concept is name. So known, known recipient. You know the name of the person, known recipient. Every time you say known patient, unknown patient, known case, unknown case. Okay, so known recipient, the person who is receiving this letter, if you know him by the name, Okay, then you will write yours sincerely. Right. That's very clear. Then if it is unknown, how do we deal? We deal it in a different pattern. Okay. So that is, then you say dear sir or dear nurse, home nurse. So dear nurse, that's all, that will be there. Because here this is unknown, unknown recipient, which nurse we don't know. So this is unknown. Then you write a dear nurse. And then here you will say yours. Okay. Yours faithfully. So that is the difference. Okay. That is the different so we are not bothered about the left side because this is our green one this is doubtful cases in case it is like this then what are you supposed to do that's it so yours faith sincerely is the right one for this because you know the name of the patient uh, the recipient here okay Fine. So yours sincerely. Because you know the person. Only Y should be capital. S should not be capital. F should not be capital. Faithfully, S should not be capital. Okay, only the first letter Y should be capital. Letter. Then Y, sir, dear nurse, N is capital. Yeah, nurse is different. N is a noun. And faithfully is an adverb. How can you give capital letter? Yes, no, fine. I am doing classes for uh, doctors. The next session is for doctors only. You can go and check my letters in the Telegram channel. I'll tell you, I'll get back to you later. I'm trained from Cambridge University. Okay, yours sincerely. Yours sincerely. Because I teach, I give importance more to nurses because nurses need more of my attention. <laughs> doctors can learn on their own also. Okay, nurses need more than doctors. Okay, very few doctors I take. So, dear Mrs. Miss Roberts, yours sincerely. Yours sincerely. So, this is the way how you have to write. Okay, so this is number five. This is number five. 
this is number five. No, sorry, six, I'm sorry, six. Your fifth one is the body. This is six. And seventh one is the sender's particulars. Seventh one is the sender's particulars. Now this seventh will go up. We already know the sender's particulars are here. So name of the hospital is given. So you write name of the hospital. So registered nurse, post-operative ward, hospital, XYZ hospital. If name is given, write name. What are given, write those. What are not given, leave. Some hospital, we don't know. So just write hospital, finished. And Bayview. That's it. Because the patient is from Bayview and care is taken for Bayview. And okay, daughter lives in Bayview. Jasmine Thompson lives in Bayview. And then home care nurse, home nurse, also from Bayview. You have to remember that. You can see here, home nurse, also from Bayview. That means her so she is going from Bayview to Bayview only. Everything is there only. Okay. All right. Mostly. The next one. So check it out there. So for since after sincerely, leave two lines. See here. Many people don't know that also. Okay. After yours sincerely, sincerely yours or yours sincerely, both are okay. Yours sincerely or sincerely yours, both are accepted. But formally it should be like. So here you see the difference between these two lines. Only one letter space is there. But see here, there are two letter spaces here. Two line spaces. Okay. So seventh one, we got here. So one, two, three, then you have four. Okay, this is subject line. And you have five body and six, you're sincerely. And last seven, that is the sender's particulars. So everything is done. Everything is done here. Okay, now what type of letter is this? This is a referral letter. Is this an urgent letter or not? This is a referral letter, but there is nothing called urgent here. Okay, because discharge now. So there is no any urgency here. So urgency is finished, whatever. All right, so now discharge from the hospital. So this should go into the third paragraph. This should go into body paragraph three. So this is final thing, body, main body paragraph three. Main body paragraph three, all the doctors here, yeah, doctors, Dr. Amol, I don't know whoever is there, Dr. Amol Singh, yeah. Where is this doctors? Yeah, all of you. Doctors, next letter is doctors. The doctor's letter is already here, medicine. I have kept it open here. So, Brett Collister. Home, Brett Collister. Where is this? Yeah, for medicine. So, we have this letter. Be ready for that. Immediately after this one, I'm going for that. So, nurses, all the nurses, everyone, don't think that uh, this is not for us. I'm teaching grammar. Yeah, he, grammar is very important. Grammar is the grammar of English language. Okay. See, doctors are attending this session because everything is common. Only, only to whom you are writing, who you are writing as a nurse, they are writing as a doctor. That doesn't make much difference. Active voice is needed for both. Okay, everything, what all I am teaching is necessary. Everyone writes all these things. So everyone, uh, doctors write address, doctors write phone uh, date, and doctors write this address, doctors write this reference, and doctors write this date, 
and doctors write this uh, address and doctors write this salutation doctors write this sign off everything everyone does what's the difference what's the big deal okay there is no difference oh i'm a doctor why should i attend the nurse who told you're learning english maybe you are not writing nurses letter but everything is same 90% same only 10% difference you will write as a doctor and nurses write as a nurse that's all subject is the same okay now now let us see here now here now this is five lines i'm just giving you i'm not uh, teaching from here i'm not teaching anything from here i'm just showing how the letter is okay how the letter is given here okay now see here one oh yeah this is number one i'm showing you very clearly this is number one paragraph number one and this is paragraph number two I'm just showing you the outline this is paragraph number three And this is paragraph number four. Okay. And this is paragraph number five. Okay, these are the five paragraphs. This is a nonsense paragraph. Actually, we don't need these things. Okay, this will go into this one only actually. Five paragraphs. You have to write in five paragraphs. Okay, any letter must be only five paragraphs. The introduction and the conclusion. Okay, introduction and the conclusion. Okay, these two together you can join. And here you have to improve this sentence. Actually, this is the conclusion. And these two together should be joined. Okay. Right. This is after a discharge activity, on discharge. You can see. Right. So this is post-operative phase. This is on discharge, how her condition is. And uh, what she requires in the future, <coughs> you have to write like that. So this is introduction. This is introduction. Okay. And here is post-operative phase. Post-operative, after operation, what happened? The condition after post-operative phase. Okay. And here on discharge, the patient was educated in post-operative care. So these two together. <clears throat> See here. This is post-operative and this is post-operative. Actually, these two together. You can see very clearly. All right. Next one. And this is regarding, this is post-operative education. This is post-operative management. Okay, so first you have to write this, then you have to write this. The next one here, after a discharge, what she requires? After a discharge. Okay, so what she requires? Then you can join those. The next one, what happens? See here. So these two you can join. Okay, and then here you can say the closing of this letter using the same things purpose reinstated purpose reinstated here purpose stated and here purpose reinstated restated in a different style so first one is introduction last one is conclusion and this is post operative phase okay so what are what are different things okay the next one here after discharge what she requires after discharge what she requires and the follow up care, all these things. So you have to write in this pattern five paragraphs only. Five paragraphs only. Right. So now let us see here. So this you can write in third paragraph, I told you. So discharge education and post operative staples removal, this all post operative discharge plan after discharge. What is this? Everything. Okay. The next one, nursing management. Nursing management. So this you can write. 
okay post operative phase after operation what happened all these things okay you can write physiotherapy management okay all these things you can write there and here diagnosis admission diagnosis right shoulder osteoarthritis and this is surgery okay right total shoulder replacement so this is done this is diagnosis and this is the solution treatment so this is cause and this is the effect so this is more important so focus on this one not on this one don't say who was diagnosed with right shoulder osteoarthritis so you say who underwent the right shoulder replacement this is better so which is more important diagnosis is done but after diagnosis shoulder replacement is also done so now he is recuperating from right total shoulder replacement that is also correct all the three things are very very important all the three things are very very important you can notice that one so you can write like this here okay mrs thompson mrs thompson don't write again mrs jasmine thompson okay mrs thompson comma who was diagnosed with right shoulder osteo arthritis comma blah 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 right mrs thompson who was diagnosed with right shoulder osteoarthritis that is number 1 next one is mrs thompson comma who underwent don't say has undergone it's a some days over who underwent finished that one right total shoulder replacement comma blah 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 so mrs thompson this is the second one first one is diagnosis stage that is right nobody said it is wrong and second stage is underwent right total shoulder replacement this is after diagnosis only you went for a replacement this is also finished replacement is done on 11 7 diagnosed even before that okay admission date nothing is there so 15 7 discharge so admission diagnosis when was she admitted nothing is given okay admitted and operative finished everything on the same day maybe medical treatment diag because they did not give any di admission date nothing admission date is not given nowhere so total shoulder replacement that's very clear and the third one is mrs thompson who has been recuperating after after a right shoulder replacement so here we missed something very important factor that is the article comma okay so article is very very important a total right shoulder replacement a see here so even i missed that one when i was telling you here you can see i missed it okay we are human beings to err is human to forgive divine when i myself missed it 
So you also may miss it. Nobody is a master overnight. See, I made a mistake. I did not write A because I took just from here only. Right total shoulder replacement, the same as it is. But when I proofread, I wrote first, I wrote second. When I wrote writing third, it clicked up on my mind that I'm doing some mistake. And then I immediately placed A here. Then I revisited the first and the second type of sentence there. And I added A there. What's, what's the problem? Why don't we revisit the sentences which we have done? So this is first a diagnose, then underwent it, then afterwards recuperating. So which is the latest one? Is it a diagnosed stage now? Because now you are writing. At the time of your right, right writing, was he just a diagnosed or he, was he already replaced with a total right total shoulder replacement or has he been recuperating after, after a right shoulder replacement? See, which is the most suitable one? This is what is quality which comes here. Quality plays a pivotal role here. I don't know how you are going to take it. Okay. Right, and uh, one more thing, what I want to say is somebody's video is on. Rinsi, Raju, please close your video. I can see your video here. Please, nobody starts a video. Under any condition, without my permission, nobody is supposed to use videos, please. Okay, right. So, uh, Mrs. Thompson, who has been recuperating after a right shoulder replacement, it's okay. What is this number three? No, okay. Right. So this is the point here. So which is the most important phase now which is going on? That's important. All are correct. All are correct. But if you write one or two, that means you are not, you know, writing in the latest trends. That means you're what is happening now? Was he just diagnosed, not replaced? If you write who, who was diagnosed with the right total shoulder. Sorry. Another mistake here. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right total shoulder. See, I made another mistake there. So mistakes can happen. So when you go deep into that, Mrs. Thompson, who was diagnosed with a right total shoulder osteoarthritis. Mrs. Thompson. Yeah. Mrs. Thompson who was a diagnosed or with a right total shoulder posterior. Sorry. No, here A is not there. Sorry. Sorry. Because this is not replacement. Yeah. So Mr. Mrs. Thompson who was diagnosed with right total shoulder osteoarthritis. For osteoarthritis, you will not use the article A because it is uncountable. Osteoarthritis is uncountable and you will not use a uh, with that. And here, Mrs. Thompson who underwent a uh, right total shoulder replacement. So a uh, is needed because replacement is there here. You can also write it as replacement surgery. Then you don't need to write A because surgery is uncountable. Surgery is uncountable. Now let us go to uh, the father. Surgery. Yeah. Surgery. Surgery is uncountable. You means uncountable. You means uncountable. You means uncountable. See here, uncountable. You means uncountable or singular noun. A noun that has no plural. You don't write a surgeries. There is nothing called surgeries. Okay. You should not write surgeries. It's uncountable. That's what it is. 
Cambridge Dictionary says surgery. Okay. So here, one operation is called as surgery. It is uncountable. Okay. There are other options, countable or uncountable, that is different. Okay. Surgeries means operation theaters. Surgeries is different. Surgery, noun, advice. Okay. So it is countable or un uncountable. So think about this one. So this is different. Surgery means office, where a surgeon works. So this can be plural, like office, offices. So you have to be very careful with this one. Surgery. Surgery is the treatment of injuries or diseases. Okay. So you have to be a little careful with these things. Okay. See, you cannot use A or an here with surgery. See, he had undergone open heart surgery. There is no an open heart surgery. A or an you will not use with surgery. I'm recovering from back surgery, not a back surgery. Okay, nowhere. Okay, right. So you have to be a little careful when you're writing. Right. So mostly you don't use that. Right. So which is important, you see. So shoulder replacement surgery, if you use the word surgery, then don't write A. Fine. A is not required. So think wisely and then only you implement. Right. That's it. So this is the way how you are going to write. So Mrs. Thompson, who was diagnosed with right total shoulder arthritis, that is okay. That means this is what you are presenting and you are not talking about right shoulder replacement. This is more important than diagnosis. Not only diagnosis, okay, surgery was also performed. After surgery was performed, he is also recuperating from that. This is the latest stage. So it is always better to use this one in this case. Okay. This is better to be used in this case. So fine. Then what else you have to write is, you have to go to the purpose now. Requires what? Requesting appropriate care. You have to request appropriate care. Care is required. Okay. Using the information given in the case notes, write a letter of referral to Miss Roberts, informing her of the patient situation. Means give her the situation, the present condition. The present condition is recuperating stage and what is required. That is, write all the relevant information there. Okay. That's very important. So, appropriate care. So now what type of care you see? You see here. So follow-up care, ongoing care, right? So you see here, right arm sling for four weeks, strictly no lifting for four weeks. This is education regarding post-discharge plan. It was given post-TSR, okay? This is after 10 days, tables should be removed. Orthopedic, uh, this is an appointment. This is another appointment. This is another appointment. Okay. Then referral to in-home nursing service. So that is what you are doing now. Assistance is required. Assistance is required. So you can write assistance is required for showering and administrating of these things. Okay. So here, um, post-operative assistance and appropriate care. So ongoing care and appropriate management, you can say. Ongoing care and appropriate management. You have to also manage the condition. Ongoing care or continuing care and appropriate management. So requires, so you can take this one here. Can't see the screen, so you have to exit and come back. 
if you can't see the screen, you have to exit and come back. So here it is. Okay, Miss Thompson, who has been recuperating after a right shoulder replacement. Okay, requires or is being referred, is being referred for ongoing care and appropriate, not only care, and a thing should be managed and appropriate management following the discharge today. Okay, where is she being discharged? Back home. You see here, she is to be discharged home today, back home. Okay. You can't see the screen. Okay, can you see now? Discharged. Discharge. Can you see, please? Type the answer. Are you able to see the screen now? Discharge. Yes, sir. Back home today. Others can type now. If anybody is able to see, can type. Others, at least type somebody so that the look she can't, it's not clear. Why it is not clear? Anybody who can see the screen clear, you tell me. Any one person, can you see the screen clear? Yeah, Rina says clear, Elizabeth says clear, Ilashi says clear. Maybe it is raining in your place, okay? Go and stop the rain, please. That means you exit and enter. Okay. You exit and enter. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, today I am moving. Today I am moving. I am going to my father's place. And I did not tell you I was suffering from leg pain for the last three days. I did not tell you it was a well-maintained secret. Okay, mm -hmm. only very dear people whom I know, they know. Others don't know. I did not tell anybody. Okay. Right. So now I'm well fine. Little traces of pain are there, but otherwise everything fine. Wish you speed recovery. Um, so I'm moving tonight. So Hello, don't sir. get panic because I may not be available online tonight. Maybe now it is 7.34. That means last bus, 12 midnight. So after four hours, I'll be leaving home. So I'll not be in touch, but I'll be on WhatsApp and uh, uh, Telegram. Okay, I'll be on WhatsApp and Telegram. I'll be moving four hours, four and a half hours. I'll be in the journey. So maybe I'll not be available. Wish you speed recovery, but sir. That. Uh, right. So this is how it is. Mrs. Thompson, who has been recuperating after a right total shoulder replacement, come on, is being referred for ongoing care and appropriate management following the discharge. See, discharge back home today. So, this is how you can write. So, this can give you a grade. Fine. The next last paragraph, this is the introduction and a conclusion. What can we write of conclusion? Let us see. Based on the aforementioned circumstances. Okay. Based on the aforementioned circumstances, ongoing care we have written. So here we'll write continuing regular supervision. Regular supervision. What is the difference between he is recuperating after? I don't understand. Two things are there then only. 
he has been recuperating his active voice okay uh, yes um he has been recuperating and he is recuperating he is recuperating means now it is totally wrong sentence he is recuperating after he is recuperating means now that means at this moment present continuous tense amani mustafa assalamu alaikum yes sir okay so he is recuperating i am sitting means now i am sitting 10 minutes back i don't know 10 minutes after i don't know that is the meaning of he is recuperating after one minute amane mustafa from the middle east i suppose hello amane can you unmute you have asked a very good question how sir jabi hello sir mute okay amani mustafa yes hello hello sir you cannot hear me your voice is not audible what is hello problem? hello why i cannot hear okay can you hear can you speak amani yes sir can you hear me yes i can hear you Okay, is my voice audible to you? Yes. Before it was clear because just now I pressed something and it. Okay, this is mic maybe. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. Um. Uh, oh my God, was was my sound audible to you before? Yes. Okay, fine. Right then, there is no problem. Yeah, Amani, where are you from? I am from Egypt. Oh, Masr. <laughs> كيف الحال؟ الحمد لله. مساء الخير. مساء النور. اوكي، هي تيل مي، ار يو ا دكتور ار ا نيرس؟ نو، اي ام ا نيرس. يو ار ا نيرس، اوكي، تيل مي. يو سي ناو ايز ريكوبريتينج يعني الحين، ناو، ناو، ذيس مومنت. اي ام تيشينج ناو، ذات مينز اونلي بريزنت سيتويشن، بريزنت، اي ام تيشينج ناو، مينز ناو اي ام تيشينج. 10 minutes before you don't know 10 minutes after you don't know 5 minutes before you don't know 5 minutes after you don't know 2 minutes before you don't know 2 minutes after you don't know that means uh, now this moment okay, okay. has been recuperating yani for quite some time after the surgery till now that means these 4 days 5 days 6 days yeah, yeah. Uh, 4 hours 6 hours 10 hours you understand now it's long period is that clear yes. it's clear thank you Absolutely. sir so is thank recuperating you. is wrong okay 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 fine fine so fine. has been thank you welcome, sir thank welcome. you welcome welcome to our sessions okay thank so very good doubt you have asked and that is the clarity i think because of amani we have got a concept clear present is continuous tense or present perfect continuous tense present continuous tense means he is recuperating present perfect continuous means he has been recuperating now present tense means i'll show you i'll give you a timeline i have taught you timelines long before maybe um, one year two years before i taught afterwards i did not teach timeline so okay i will teach you timeline now this is called the timeline timeline okay timeline is very important you should know timeline without timeline you cannot know the tense okay this is um let us say okay from here this okay eight so you can say 8 am 8 am next one is 10 am then now it is uh, 749 8 
pm 8 pm okay fine now next one is 10 pm so next one is um 12 pm so 11 pm 11 pm 11 pm so now this is timeline you see timeline now what exactly if you are saying now it is 1941 that means 741 so here it is 7 41 7 41 pm 7 41 is pm so now here you can see very clearly so this is the present time this is the present time this is the present. If you say he is recuperating now, now it is 7.42. He is recuperating means, he is recuperating means now, only at 7.42. That means you don't know all this information before and you don't know all this information afterwards. Or before I don't know, after I don't know, but now he, see for example, uh, your friend asked, what is Simon doing? What is Simon doing? That means Simon is teaching because you know what he's doing now. Simon is teaching now. But what has Simon been doing since morning? Since morning. Morning till now. Oh, continue. Full day. What has he been doing? That's it. It's a long time. So present perfect continuous. Till now he has done and now also he is doing. After some time also he will do. Past, present, future continuation is has been so this 742 if you take so it is now only 742 if you take it is now so it will be mr simon is teaching so when you say mr simon he is teaching it is understood that it is now even if you don't tell, it is the meaning is now. Is Simon is Mr. Simon is teaching now in progress. Action is in progress. This is called present progressive tense. Present progressive tense. Progress means going work is in action, going on now. But when you say, okay, since 8 a.m. Since 8 am till now so then it will be like this you see it has been past it has been present and it will be also future so it will be like this mr mrs mr simon has been teaching since morning okay when you say has been teaching means from that time till now that is the meaning it is understood there's no need to say since morning. Okay. Till now. And will also continue. This is called the timeline. You can see the second part is together from here till here. From here to here, till here, full. Okay. Now he is teaching. Yes, uh, morning also he taught. Now also he is teaching. Tomorrow. So recuperating, he has been recuperating means operated on so and so day. Okay. When was he operated? Let us see here. When was he operated? You can see here very good. 11 7 and 15 7, four days over. Right? Total so the replacement on 11th July. 11th July recovering, 12th July recovering, 13th July recovering. 14th July recovering, 15th July also recovering. So recovering is going on for five days, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the recovery process is finished to some extent 
and still going on and will also continue that is the meaning of present perfect continuous tense that means it is continuous including now and after also future and past also past present and future together is present perfect continuous tense that is what it is so topic clear have you got a clarity on present continuous and present perfect yeah if it is clear say yes if it is not clear say no only amani okay come on come on fast fast 10 seconds we are moving forward okay we don't have much time to wait on these things okay next one is here so based on the aforementioned circumstances regular supervision and necessary action plan means follow up action appropriate care would be profoundly beneficial for improving the condition of mrs is the same thing everywhere mrs uh thompson okay in case any additional information is required please do not hesitate to contact me finished so based on the aforementioned circumstances regular supervision and necessary action plan would be profoundly beneficial for improving the condition of mrs thompson in case any additional information is required please do not hesitate to contact me that is very clear fine okay what is this going on yeah so the introduction is over and conclusion is over yeah you have to plan very carefully not for a same as it is you can you cannot copy paste it. some modifications are required some modifications are required anjali okay now this is part 3 okay in part 1 part 2 you can write i have told you already post operative after operation what is going on management nursing management okay post operative medical progress yeah so this is it post operative this is body paragraph 1 body paragraph main body paragraph 1 so you can take main body paragraph one medical progress okay everything is there here okay then this is management post operative management you can take main body paragraph two okay and main body paragraph two so you can cover these two things how are you going to write okay how are you going to write these things cold compress or shoulder brace 4 hours per day has been applied or used adl assistance as required adl external assistance for performing activities of daily living one sentence i'll give yeah 
Yeah, this sentence let us take ADL assistance. Um, assistance is required to perform activities of daily living. Assistance is required to perform activities of daily living. Okay. Assistance is required to perform activities of daily living or assistance is provided. Okay. As required, assistance is provided required is required so it is provided they are mutually interrelated assistance is required to perform activities of daily living so this is one sentence for this one wound care and observations mm, okay all within the normal range T, P, R, B, P, all within the normal range. All the vitals on observation, all the vitals were unremarkable. Okay. On observation, observations, on observation, all the vitals were found to be unremarkable, were unremarkable. So, the next one. Strictly no lifting for four weeks. Right arm sling for four weeks. Okay. Uh, not only, but also you can use. Not only the using of usage of right arm sling, but also refraining from lifting heavy objects have been for four weeks have been recommended or advised. Okay. Okay. Right arm sling for four weeks. Strictly no lifting for four weeks. So start with for four weeks. For four weeks. I don't want to write four weeks. Why should I write four weeks? For two fortnights. My wish. Now what is this week and what is this fortnight? What is the difference? I'll show you. Go to father. That is great. That is wonderful. Daddy gives what is the best, okay? Go to Cambridge Dictionary. Week. What is the power of this word week? A1. A1 means 100 grade mark. 100 marks. A2, 200. B1. Okay. 300. B2. 350. Okay. C1. 400. C2, 450. Now we understand this is 100 grade mark. A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. A1, below 100. A2, below 200. C1, below 300. C2, sorry, B2 is 350. And C1 is 400. C2 is 450. Now try to understand the power of the words. A1 is 100 marks. You will get only 100 marks out of 500. Then why are you using the word week? Then why did I use fortnight? Fortnight means what? Fortnight is B1. It is 300 mark. Fortnight means a period of two weeks. So four weeks is equal to two fortnights. Why don't you write two fortnights? What is the problem? Did anybody say that it is wrong? That means he is a nonsense fellow then. If somebody is telling what you are talking is nonsense, that means that fellow doesn't understand the meaning of fortnight. And you know the meaning of fortnight. That means you are better than that person. Definitely. Your quality is 
far superior than the mediocre. That's why you are able to. B1, Fortnite is a normal word. It's not even C1. Then why are you using the word which is 100 mark when you can use a 300 mark word? That's the difference. These words will not, these modifications, these will never go unnoticed. These will never go unnoticed. These will never go unnoticed. Never is negative. Un is also negative. Double negative is positive. That means these will definitely be noticed. These will never go unnoticed. Means these will definitely be noticed. Talking in a different style. Writing in a different style is required to get qualitative results. Okay. So two weeks is one fortnight. So two weeks, four weeks is two fortnights. Why don't you use that one? Huh? Why don't you use that one? Two fortnights for two fortnights. Come on. I will write my wish. Prove that I am wrong. Dare to prove that I am wrong. That is the challenge of the experts. Okay. Oh, he has given four weeks. Why did you write two, four notes? Nobody will ask you. Because if the person is asking, that means that is a mud brain. Okay. Like Simon Peter. And if he's not asking, that means he understood like Peter Simon. Peter Simon is your teacher. Okay. And Simon Peter, ordinary person is different. So try to understand the difference. A person who can understand is an expert. A person who cannot understand because I cannot take somebody else's name, so I can take my own name. So that's why I'm giving Simon Peter and Peter Simon. Simon Peter is one person, ordinary person. And Peter Simon is a specialist English teacher. Yeah. Nobody opens video, please. Until and unless asked. Okay, so that is the difference from mediocre to extraordinary. Ordinary, extraordinary, simple and special, normal and extra, um, above normal, average and above average. That's the difference. That is the difference. One is mediocre, ordinary level. One is higher level. Think out of the box. What is given? If you write the same, then what is your speciality? Never try to use the same words as far as possible. Because OET demands variety, which is the spice of life. So, for two fortnights, And for two fortnights, not only A, but also B, not only A, but also B, have been recommended. What is A? Using right arm sling. What is B? Avoiding lifting heavy objects. A, B. Put it there, finished, not only A, but also B, have been recommended. Yesterday only I taught you not only, but also try to use all as well as, try to use besides, besides using a right arm sling, refraining from lifting heavy objects have been recommended. I cannot write all the sentences again for you. Already I taught yesterday. If you did not attend this yesterday's class, go to Zoom. I already gave you there. Sorry, YouTube. So, for two fortnights, in addition to using right arm sling, comma, refraining from, refraining from lifting heavy objects, has been recommended. 
singular because only one we are using because the other one is not a clause it is a phrase so we are taking only one thing in addition for this this is recommended in addition to something in addition in addition to using a mobile phone noting down is required singular not plural because you are not joining these two things in addition to that this should be done this is to be done in addition to that this should be done not these these should these are to be done but this in addition to that this, that and this not these are that and this in addition to that this there is not that and this if you say that and this two things are coming in addition to that this is to be done singular that is what somebody asked yesterday and i gave that besides using the right arm sling besides using a right arm sling singular again besides also singular because it's a simple sentence it's a simple sentence you have to use besides means in addition as well as right arm using right arm sling as well as refraining from lifting heavy objects similarly yesterday i told you not only but also or you can use and for two fortnights using the right arm sling and refraining from lifting heavy objects have been recommended because and and is a compound uh, and is creating a compound sentence two main clauses so both are important here not only but also coordinating conjunction but fan boys fan boys f a n b o y s fan boys now what is this fan boys fan boys is an acronym which has seven one is for next one is and next one is nor next one is but next one is or next one is yet next one is so when you are using these words to join two sentences it becomes compound sentence these are called coordinating conjunctions these are called coordinating conjunctions and these will make compound sentences so coordinating conjunctions when you use you will be making compound sentences so that's it so then these will become plural okay not only this but also that and but both you have to do. both and there is another one also using both and what is both and for four days sorry for two fortnights comma both using a right arm sling and refraining from lifting heavy objects both and just simply and second one is not only but also third one is both and three are there three forms one is just and this and that second one both this and that third one not only this but also that all mean the same thing meaning is the same no dis no difference an experienced normal people they don't know even to tell one sentence but a professional person proficient person can use can play with styles without spoiling the meaning 
he can tell everything else. Okay. He is the tallest boy in the class. He is the tallest boy in the class. No other boy is so tall as he. He is. Okay. He is the tallest boy in the class. He is taller than any other boy in the class. He is the tallest boy in the class. He is the tallest boy in the class. Can you try to find out the difference? Nothing is the difference. Same meaning. He is the tallest boy in the class. He is taller than any other boy in the class. No other boy is so tall as he is. What's the difference? Why I am able to tell you three types of sentences when you cannot create only one sentence? Because that is, you learn. First one is superlative degree. Kashmir is the most beautiful place on earth. Superlative degree. The most beautiful superlative degree. Next one, comparative degree. Kashmir is more beautiful than any other place in the world. Compar you are comparing com uh, Kashmir with any other place. Any other place. One is to one. Compare Any other place. Any one place you take, Kashmir is better than that. You take uh, some one place and Kashmir is better than that. More beautiful than that. Take uh, Uti, Kashmir is more beautiful than Uti. Take uh, uh, Kanyakumari, Kashmir is more beautiful. So take any other place and compare it with Kashmir. Kashmir is more than more beautiful than that other place. This is comparative degree. And positive degree. No other place on the earth is so beautiful as Kashmir. As, as beautiful as Kashmir. Same meaning. There is no meaning. So that is variety. Variety. Okay. You learn only one style and that style you forget and you cannot. Learn three styles. Any one you will remember. At least one you will write. You know which is the best that will you adapt. Okay. So for two fortnights, using the right arm sling and strictly refraining from lifting heavy objects have been recommended. Okay. Okay, not only A, A is what using a right uh, arm sling. So this is A, this is A, remember that, this is A, but also B, strictly Oh, refraining from lifting heavy objects. Yeah, I'm taking three students. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow batch is starting. Three students I'm taking because three students have finished their course and they have done the exam. Only three students, no more admissions. Only three students I have places. Okay, so if anybody is interested, you can contact me, whoever is watching on the YouTube or Zoom, whatever it is, if anybody is interested, only three students. The fees is increased for nurses. It is 12,000 per month. And a full course is 20,000 for 100 days. If you're really, 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 really serious, then come to me. Otherwise, stay away from me. Because I will filter. I will filter. I don't mind. I'll filter. If you're really serious, come to me. Already you're seeing what is the fire there. If you're ready to learn, come. I don't want to waste my valuable time just to uh, pass some time teaching some not so serious students. So please, please make me happy by not joining me if you're not really serious.
it may appear rude but i am speaking the fact because i cannot play with myself okay right and i already told you simon sir sorry peter simon is public property you cannot vandalize public property okay because it is useful for many people vandalize so don't misuse the services of simon sir don't come if you want so this is a right arm swing is number a and strictly refraining from lifting heavy objects is number b oh sorry using it no 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 using also is included in this i'm sorry i missed that so using a right arm swing is a not only a but also b so try to understand these are the connectors here i'll just to show you how simple it is uh -huh. okay it should be was something awesome so this not only but also so not only but also everything is the same i'm just showing you this is the first variety this is variety number 1 okay yeah so here now let us take these things here i want to clear this one yeah i want to take the picture of this one and send you later okay not only a a is yellow and this is b b is green we'll take yellow and green yellow is a green is b so just we are not going to do any modification nothing 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 just see what i am doing just see what i am doing how the technique is to be applied tomorrow you will dance with joy so now here remove this and just put here a and d that's all this is the second version just using and only and is one option this is and means compound this is a compound sentence compound sentence compound sentence because and is there fan boys and for and nor but or yet so seven words compound sentence and here but is there so this is also compound sentence i told you i will not teach anything i'll teach these things only because people don't know these things letter anybody can write you are also writing letters many letters you are writing so what is the great in that one learning these things is more important so just and here only and you are using and joining things so how to join two sentences is more important how to join doctor okay how to join two sentences is more important now this is comp okay now i'll tell you what is the difference between ordinary sentences and simple sentences now here the first sentence is a okay now let us see here using Mm 
using a right arm sling has been recommended this is a simple ordinary sentence this is an ordinary sentence okay 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 next one for two weeks same thing for two fortnights comma so what is ordinary many people don't know what is ordinary sentence and what is simple sentence simple sentence means ordinary simple means ordinary said i was surprised okay for two fortnights using a right arm sling has been recommended this is not a simple or a complex or a composite this is just a one ordinary sentence one very medium class sentence ordinary sentence very ordinary sentence basic sentence and the second sentence you can see that for two fortnights using a right arm sling has been recommended has been because one thing See for two fortnights. See here for two fortnights. For two fortnights, nothing. Using a right arm sling. That is what it is. Using a right arm sling. This is a. That is yellow. Okay. Next one. B. Now B is what we are changing this one now. B is what strictly. One only I will give you example. I cannot give you ten examples. One only I will give you example that, but that will be perfect. Strictly refraining from lifting heavy. Why I am typing all these things, man? I should have copied and pasted, no? Objects. Okay. So now this is green. So simple as that. So that's it. Now see that one A, first one is A, second one is B. So for two fortnights and has been recommended are there in every sentence. There is no change in that one. There is no change in that one. Those are, those are called extras. Extras. Extras will go everywhere. Okay. Only here the change is there. These two parts you are joining here. These two are ordinary sentences. A ordinary sentence, B ordinary sentence. That is two ordinary sentences you are joining to make a mega sentence and there are three types of mega sentences okay there are three types of mega sentence okay first one is simple sentence second one is complex sentence third one is compound sentence So, simple sentence, you will have one main clause. One main clause, one main clause. One main clause. One main clause. One main clause. Simple sentence means one main clause will be there. Complex sentence also, one main clause will be there. And compound sentence also one main clause will be there. Okay. So one main clause, one main clause, one main clause is common for all the three. Next one is plus. Here also plus. And this second part will be changing. Plus. So here it will be a phrase. And here it will be a subordinating clause. 
subordinating clause subordinating dot i cannot write full subordinating clause i don't want to take extra space there that's why but here you will have okay one here also one phrase and here you will have one another main class one main class plus one main class is equal to two main class both are main classes both are independent so you are using fanboys here if you are using fanboys you are using fanboys it will be a complex sentence no fanboys no fanboys others for and nor but or yet so if you are using these seven conjunctions okay conjunctions any one you are using it becomes compound sentence if you are not using fanboys it becomes complex sentence like where who who mrs jasmine thompson who has been recuperating who is a complex sentence because fanboys is not there who is not there here in fanboys kashmir comma which is the most beautiful place on earth comma is a tourist location kashmir which who where so like this if do although even do okay that's it so different different types now you understand here so not only but also also is there also is there now you can use another thing you can also use negative neither nor either or both and not only but also, but which is suitable that only you have to write so in this condition both are positive recommended okay then next one and not only but also and and then next one again the same thing you are taking here this is here you will use both both and this is another style using why you should use only and you can use both and also okay this is these are the three compound styles i have given in future many other styles i'll give so simple styles in addition to now here what i'll do is phrase i will use in addition to using a right arm sling comma and and will be removed and will not be there because it's simple sentence in addition to you are using when you are using in addition to it is a simple sentence so learn the quality sentences actually if it is unremarkable you need not tell only no use no writing that one no need of writing that one okay wait so try to understand this here okay in addition to so next one fifth one is instead of in addition to you use besides and remove and
So, besides using a right arm sling, comma, strictly refraining from lifting heavy objects has been recommended. Only one main class is there. So, here you are using in addition to, here you are using besides. You can also use as well as. Okay. For two four nights, using a right arm sling as well as strictly refraining from lifting heavy objects. has been recommended. I mean, similarly. Okay. As well as something, this also is recommended. It means in the similar fashion. So this is simple sentence. So you can use different, you see six types of sentences you can use, joining these two sentences. These are the two ordinary sentences. These are the two ordinary sentences. So how can you make, join these two sentences? Using different styles is more important. So I hope you understood these points. So I already gave you how you have to separate the sentence. I told you I'll give you some sentences I gave you. Okay, different styles of writing. Same sentences, joining two sentences, writing in different styles. So if it is unremarkable, no need to write on the look sheet. Okay. If it is unremarkable, no need to write. If it is remarkable, you have to write. If it is unremarkable, why you should write? There is no problem, so why should you write? That's the point. It's irrelevant then. It is uh, redundant, not irrelevant, redundant. Not necessary also. So, the concept, clear. The concept, okay. Clear, I'm giving you just, okay, one minute. Come on, whatever you want to write, you can write. I explained one full letter. Okay, and I gave you how to organize the paragraph. If everyone understood this one, you can write that. So all of you can write, all of you can write three, three letters or four, four letters and send me. Okay, regular students and uh, other students can write one letter. Yes. Okay, that's the end of the session today. Yes, good night.